Shabbat Shalom, Temple Israel of Greater Miami. I hope this message finds all of you in good health. I was thinking about how I'm always waiting for something. You know, it doesn't exactly have to do with the fact that I was brought up always being early, uh, because early is on time and on time is late. It was more of a, uh, a core feeling, and it still is more of a core feeling that I'm waiting for something. You know, I didn't want to wait to have kids. I had my son. I didn't want to wait to become a rabbi. I pursued it and did it. I didn't want to wait to move to Miami. I sought it out. But I find myself lately waiting, and I'm not comfortable with what that feels like. So I didn't know if any of you were feeling this also. You know, I find myself waiting for Friday, waiting for summer vacation so I can go to camp, waiting and waiting and waiting. This existential feeling, that is what brings us towards the high holidays because we should no longer wait. We should not wait for someone to fall in love with us, wait for the money to get a new house. We shouldn't wait to take a vacation. What we should be doing is living in the moment that we're living in now and not wait any longer, but to make the most of right now in this moment. And so I think about how do we shift as people, as individuals, how do we shift from waiting to accepting what is and making that in to what can be? How do we not put our hands, our minds, our hearts, our lives in someone else's hands? How do we take all of those things into our hands and our hearts and to create the reality we want? This Shabbat, we are coming very close to entering into the high holidays. We're coming very close to being a part of the month of Elul, the month of introspection. And if you're like me, you've already started thinking, what am I waiting for? Not what items am I waiting for? Why am I even waiting? Take hold of what's in front of you. Love it, hold on to it. And if it's not exactly what you want, realize that you either need to change your expectations or change your situation. We can no longer wait for Shabbat. We can no longer wait for summer vacation. In this time of COVID, it's taught me that more than ever. If you want something to happen, you go after it. The Temple Israel of Greater Miami, let's not wait for next Shabbat to make something happen that we want to happen now. Reach out to whomever you need to reach out to. Take a hold of your dreams and your life and your passions and make all of those become a reality for yourself. Because just as I said last week, no one is going to put you first besides yourself. And even that as a parent, as a child, as a sibling, even that is extremely difficult to place ourselves and our priorities first. But if we always stay waiting for something to happen, wanting something to happen, but we never become our own change agents, then what are we waiting for? Why are we living this life this way? I pray and I hope that you are all continuing in good health and that you no longer are waiting to see what happens. You are making the moment that you are in full of life and full of blessing. Shabbat Shalom.